Pokefans. Michael here. It's time for another Pokemon conspiracy theory. And uh, what? Paul, what are you? What, what, what? Are, you, what are you doing? What? Stop! No! Get, oh! It's time for another Pokemon conspiracy theory. This one was proposed by Reddit user Cybris, whose original post I linked to down in the description, and I'm expanding on it a little bit. This one has to do with Pokemon evolution, but not the leveling up or stone kind you may be used to. I'm talking about Darwinian evolution. You've likely heard of it before, but Darwinian evolution is, in a nutshell, the idea that species adapt and change over time to better suit their environments. The beneficial traits will be passed down via reproduction, and the hindering ones won't. This is called natural selection. So what we have here is what appears to be a case of Darwinian evolution, but with Pokemon instead. Let's look at Basculin and Relicanth. Both are fish-like water types, sharing the Water 2 egg group, the ability Rockhead, well, at least Blue Basculin, their catch rate, their hatch time, and even their specific height of 3 foot 3. They also have similar underbites, and Relicanth has red spots on its sides, bearing resemblance to Red Basculin's coloring. However, Relicanth is slower and has higher defenses than Basculin. In addition to that, Relicanth eats microorganisms on the seafloor with its toothless mouth, while Basculin is a hostile hunter found in shallower waters. Two similar species, but with distinct differences in features and lifestyles. Could Basculin have evolved from Relicanth? Relicanth's Pokedex entry states that it has remained unchanged for 100 million years, meaning that Relicanth itself is just like it was all that time ago. But could a portion of the Relicanth population at some point split the line in evolution and over time become an entirely new species as Basculin? Here's how I see it happening. Relicanth eats microscopic organisms. I think it's possible that at some point, a Relicanth started eating meat or other sea creatures for whatever reason. This change in diet proved beneficial, making the Relicanth faster and stronger with the added protein. Over time, this Relicanth's lineage evolved to a more predatory lifestyle, growing teeth and moving to shallower waters where there was more abundant prey. They shed their rocky scales since they no longer needed protection from the deeper ocean pressures, and it allowed them to move faster and be better hunters. This does lower their defenses though, but that was alright since they became more adequate fighters. This evolution to a hunting lifestyle also leads to more hostile demeanors, contradicting Relicant's usual calm one. Over time, the Basculin population also split in evolution, likely due to the formation of different schools. Each Basculin type keeps a certain trait from Relicanth, though, with the blue keeping the rock head ability and the red keeping the red coloring of Relicanth's spots. Meanwhile, the original Relicanth species remains in deeper waters, continuing to peacefully eat microorganisms for a hundred million years. So that's the theory! I really like this one. I think it's fun to connect Pokemon in interesting ways, and this is one that I don't think's been seen before. What did you think of this theory? Do you think it has any legitimacy? What are some other Pokemon conspiracy theories you want me to talk about? Let me know in the comments below! Alright, that's all I have for now, so until next time, Pokefans. Gotta catch them all!